So let's start off with the most basic stuff, your keyboard and mouse. So right here, it's an adapter. We're gonna have to plug this into your computer. We're gonna do it in a second. And right now we're gonna have to put batteries. To put batteries inside right here in HP mouse, all we have to do is on the bottom, you will notice this little gap. Just put your fingers there, it's gonna pop out. That easy, yep. And then these are triple A batteries that you need to put in there. So we're gonna put in some batteries right here, triple A batteries. You're just gonna place them, I'm gonna put this back. Just make sure this pops in the whole way and you're set. Down here below, I also wanna show you to turn on your mouse, you just have to do this and that light will be on. So we're just gonna leave our mouse on for now. Next up is our keyboard. To put batteries inside your keyboard, it's gonna be on the back. This is an HP keyboard. So we're just gonna open this up, that's in the middle, and then we're gonna insert triple A batteries right here. We're just gonna put this back. And there we go. So to open it up again, it's just this little flap right here. Just put some pressure and it's gonna go off. Next, on the back of our computer, we're gonna see all these. Just plug it into any USB port. So this adapter right here works like a Bluetooth adapter. So that works to sync up your mouse and keyboard to your computer. We're just gonna plug that in right on the back, right here. Just make sure it fits nice and tight. Then when we turn on our computer, it's all gonna sync up nicely. So right now this is set up. We can just put this on the side for now. And the next thing is just a power cable, which is the easiest part about setting this whole thing up. All we have to do is just plug this into here. This we're gonna put into our outlet, okay? And this will go into the back of our computer. So this part is gonna go right into here. So on the side of your computer, you're gonna see this. Just power it on, the light should be on at this point in time. And then we're gonna see the HP logo and this screen. We'll, we'll just say, just loading. And then, just choose whichever language you guys would like. After you choose your language, Hi just there. choose I'm Cortana, next. and I'm here to help. Your region is set to Canada, is that right? Yes, or just hit yes right here on the side. Because it can take long for this to know where you're at. Want to stick with that? So we're just going to leave you also with another keyboard layout? We're going to go on skip. Now let's get you connected to a network. And we need Wi-Fi in order to updates, cook apps, everything up. So we're going to choose the second one. We're going to connect. Now type your so right now, at this point, you guys can use this as a touch screen because it is a touch screen or use your keyboard. Your keyboard should work right away. Mission accomplished. You're all linked up. Right now, we can just hit on next. Now we have some important setup to do. Again, with these touch screens, we can always use our keyboard, mouse, or actually touch the screen. Now let's see what's new from Windows. Next up, the legal stuff. In short, you'll need to select accept to you. Let's just put accept. And at any time, if you guys Type don't want that voice guiding you. Phone number, then follow the instructions to sign in. I'll catch up with you once that's done. We can always turn it off right here on the side. You guys will see speaker and then just put it down or we can put it up. So I'm gonna leave it around there, that's okay. We can sign in, we can create an account. It's better if you guys do because it is HP, so everything syncs up better if you guys do that. However, there are other ways around it. So for example, if you don't have a Microsoft account, we can always create one right now. Let's get an account going for you. you can use we can get a new address. email address, we can use a phone number instead. There's various options to this. And we can always go back if we made a mistake Type your email address and just putting our email right there. Then follow the... So regardless, if you guys signed when into your account in. or made an account using a phone number, this, you might see this if you created one, okay? So we can create a pin right now. It's good to have it just in case. So for our pin, we can't do anything like one, two, three, four. It has to be a little bit more complex than that. Once you do that, hit OK. So in this case, it's asking me this because I put in my phone number, but we can always just do it later or send it right now. Depends what you guys want. We're just gonna hit on next. Again, that's because I put in my phone number. So at this point, I would always say accept. Bye. I'm just gonna put yes for now. Let's set things up the way you like them. First, 
Choose if you want to use your voice to talk I do to like using app. my voice, although now, it can be a little bit slow. I do like app. using my GPS, you that way I can use Google computer. Maps, for example, Here, without a problem. Although, even if you don't turn it on, you can still use Google Maps. We're going to put yes. So this is good for you guys, not just Microsoft. So I would always say full, but you can choose basic. So I'm going to put accept on this, I'm going to put yes on this, and yes on this. Everything I put yes to, you guys can choose no. So you don't have to put yes to everything. So we're going to hit on next, next. After that, we should have seen a black screen, then a few letters popping out, and then this message. So after just a bit, we should see this on our screen, and we're all done. So right now, you guys can go ahead and use your computer. Again, we can use it as a touch screen. It works perfect as a touch screen, or you guys can use your mouse and keyboard. Obviously, some things are better with a mouse keyboard. Other things are better with touch screen. So a lot of the options, you guys will see them here on the side. Obviously, that's the first place that you're going to go in order to do everything. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.